the National Football League on EA Sports. And our focus is on Zay Jones. He's one of the league's best, currently third in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Lions and the Vikings. All that and more coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today on to Week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come into this one off a bit of a clunker last time out, a loss that ended their five-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go on EA Sports. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They will be led out by the former Heisman Trophy winner back in 2016. Always a handful to contain, Lamar Jackson. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Second and six, just inside the 30. They go play action with Jackson. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And there on your screen, Charles, the key and active guys out this week. There's never anything good about any injury. But there's a silver lining to that. Is that it creates opportunity for someone else on the depth chart. Will they take advantage of it with good play? Or have they not prepared well, thinking they'll never get on the field and they go out there with their team? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Fights him off. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Lions will take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the cornerback. And he's certainly putting together an MVP-type season, leading the league in both passing yards and touchdown passes. There have not been too many defenses have been able to stop him or even slow him down. So he's got a sight set on another big game right here. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. First and ten. Here's Bennett. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. First 
Off play action. Here's Bennett. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Off the play fake, it's Bennett. Gets this one to use check. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing here on third, Bennett. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Grady Jarrett able to record his fifth sack of the season. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum Justin balloon Tucker just a little bit. A 50-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. Yeah, they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and ten. Play action. Now Wilson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. There's Wilson to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Right where they set him down started. They need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. To throw again is Wilson. He finds his man, Pollard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 Special before foul. he's out of bounds. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And this is caught at the eight. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. The end result, 21 yards. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. A try here for the extra point. Yeah. 
He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions offense heading out as we give you a look at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Bennett now off play action. And that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. So the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Play action. It's Wilson. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Leonard Floyd. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. They go play action with Wilson. Throw left side, hauled in by Otten. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that brings up third to the full ten yards. There's Wilson. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So out now come the Lions. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Back to throw, Bennett. Open man, there's Darnell Washington. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. On the counter, it's Spiller. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 11 yards there and a lion first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. 
I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Bennett fakes a handoff, now to throw. It's complete to Jones. And brought down the map before they're inside the 25. On first and 10 is Spiller. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Isaiah Spiller. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions are once again back in front. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They go play action now. Wilson swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Again, Wilson. This one taken in by Otten. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Throwing left side. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 30 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And a short gain here down to the 22. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game. And, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Tony Pollard. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Vikings have taken the lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off.
And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And a lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. On second down, Bennett to throw. Finds Spiller on the check down. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Bennett now. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger, bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And this will wind up the Lions' first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They'll go right back to Spiller here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. They keep it on the ground with Spiller. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They'll try and run for it with Spiller. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. They run behind center with Spiller. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. Second down and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. On the screen, complete to Spiller. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. The Lions had six and seven, a game under 500 on the year. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 97 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. He's worked relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Straight ahead, it's Spiller. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring us to a third and four. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Bennett. Taken down, back at the 25. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. And that CD, another sack for the young rookie linebacker. Well, getting after the quarterback certainly has not been much of a problem here in his rookie season. 
He certainly has it, Brandon, and the instincts that have made him a great tackler, I think coupled along with some film study and some great anticipation, that's also made him a great pass rusher as well. Tucker's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw him a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, here's Wilson. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. Now it's Wilson. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Aaron Donald, a milestone sack for him as it moves him past Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor, who finished his career with 132 and a half. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On second down, it's Potter. Well, a pretty move couldn't create much space down just beyond the 35. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one more constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for the pressure. Comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Leonard Floyd. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fall to him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. Yes, and he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Again, they run it with Spiller. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. That's caught inside the 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll run here with Spiller. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you
you score one touchdown, you're, you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Again, it's Spiller. And this time, he'll score. Touchdown, Lions. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking in the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Tucker now for the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Isaiah Spiller capping things off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On third down, Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just want to take one of the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the lead is now 13. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Play action. Now Wilson. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Now with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Wilson's throw complete to Otten. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. First down, and it's Pollard again. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. 
brings up second and a yard. Here's Pollard again. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Here's Wilson to throw. And he sure arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Leonard Floyd able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they seem to catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting in the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Now this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation. Of what they've seen already, they will continue. Yeah. You talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't watch this play. You know? I'm not good enough to play the fantasy Stop game. It. I enjoy watching you're an you analyst. do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. Right back to Spiller on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. To throw is Bennett. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's where the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now they'll look to throw with Bennett. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, these two teams, you may recall, they didn't play each other till late in the year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 13. And it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one. So they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. The offense on third down, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This time it's third and three. Bennett now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they get five there on third and two. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Second and a couple. Right back to Spiller on second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the shotgun, here's Bennett. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing? He's got him in, complete! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 39 yards there, a big one. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Wilson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Yeah, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. A handoff to Spiller to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Off the play fake, it's Bennett. Try to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now there's Elijah Moore as he and the offense come out for another drive. Well, he's within shouting distance of a 1,000-yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. Here's second and ten. To throw is Wilson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. Wilson now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into a 
of incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The...